Maybell Cordelia Holloway Walker. Do you know who I am? I was born on May 2nd, 1902 in Greenville, South Carolina to Reverend Elias B. Holloway. I was the sixth of nine children. My parents, oh bless their heart. We had seven and that was a lot. Anywho, I attended elementary school in my hometown in Greenville, but traveled up north for high school in Overland, Ohio. I then attended Howard University in Washington, D.C., where I achieved my Bachelor of Arts degree. Yay me! Do you know what else I got at Howard? A man. I snagged a good one. Claudius Roland Walker. Mm -mm. He was also studying for his bachelor's. Mm -hmm. Yup, a smart one. Not only was he smart, he was also a May baby and was from the Bahamas, the heart of Bay in town. What you know about Sia Walker? Mm -hmm. Okay, enough about him. I have so much to be thankful for. I got involved in the YWCA, which was the Young Women's Christian Association, and attended many conferences. After I graduated and got the ring, I worked in New Jersey for the YWCA. Then, guess what? I moved to the land of Sun Sun and Sea with my little love bug, of course. <laughs> the first thing we decided to do was open a preschool and then assist my hubby with teaching at the Bahamas Technical Institute. I sure made my way through the Bahamas' school systems, touching as many lives as I can. I was then promoted to headmistress of Woodcock Primary before I retired in 1962. But before that, I made my mark as the founding member and president of the Bahamas Union of Teachers in 1947. Do you know what that meant? I was the first female to be a president of a trade union in the Bahamas. Wow. In 1950, I teamed up with these gals Mary Ingram, Georgiana Simonette, and Eugenia Lockhart, and we started the women's suffrage movement that campaigned for universal adult suffrage, meaning that we four little women fought for the right to vote in a political election. How grand was that? Yeah. Mabel Walker Primary School, the Mabel Walker In-House Professional Development Center, and the Bahamas Union of Teachers, Walker Hall, were named in my honor. Sister Girl even got a Queen's Medal and a Certificate of Honor. I left this earth on July 8, 1987, at the age of 85. In 2012, on the 50th anniversary of women gaining the right to vote, a series of postage stamps were created in our honor. Did you see that 50 cent stamp? I did that. 